What's happening YouTube your boy Tech Tricks back now the video and today we are looking at the Akara Camera Hub G3. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you could be notified of our next videos to come of tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. This is the actual hub, but you can also add more accessories to it, like the door window sensor right there, motion sensor right there, and also the wireless mini switch. Today we're going to show you how all this works together. And um, we'll show you the features as well for the Akara Hub. So here we go. Let's open this up. Here we get the uh, instruction manual right there. Got the camera right there as well. At the bottom here, we get the power adapter. The cable as well, USB-C. That's it for that one. Let's take this out of the plastic right here. There you go. Like that it has a little uh, cat head thing there, head here. That's pretty cute. So this is the Akara hub. There's a little camera right there and also the proximity sensors and mics right there. Pretty cool. Little button right there to turn it on. It also lights up. In the back says a speaker right there. USB-C slot right there as well. Now this could be controlled in the phone as well goes up and down and then the head also the whole body also tilts in the bottom here there's also a tripod mount where you can mount it on a tripod if you wanted to you can also put in a micro sd card it's also hidden in the back of the camera so it's hidden in there pretty good let's go open up the other ones now this guy also comes with a little sticker right here to stick the uh, door sensor to the doors some instruction manuals right there and in this box, we get the, there you go, there's a little guy right there, another guy right there. Pretty small devices there, really cool. Basically, um, this is supposed to attach to each other right there. It's supposed to sense each other when it goes uh, open or close. The back, you just pretty much stick in onto the doors or windows. I really like this because it's really small. Um, it's not nothing too crazy here, right? This one has a battery as well, which is ACR1632. There you go. Let's open up the uh, motion sensor here now. Again, it has the instruction manual right there. Very small motion sensor. Can't even see it really, which is really good. If you're trying to hide it for uh, intruders, right? Really cool. Then it comes with a little sticker as well to stick it on. Now here is the motion sensor. Basically it has this uh, remove before use tab right here. And um, this part pretty much just sticks to the bottom like so. You just peel this off right here. There you go. And then you just stick this onto there and you're good to go. On the side here is a little button right there for a reset. Indicator light. This one swivels as well to whatever angle you want it to go. Now let's open up the wireless wireless mini button. Here it comes with the instruction manual right there as well. Some sticker to stick the uh, mini button there. The mini button right here is just a pretty simple device. You can also change the uh, battery right here. It takes in uh, CR2032, typical battery for this kind of device. There's a reset button on the side as well right there indicator light and the actual button right there now one good thing about the akara is it's also home kit compatible so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scan the bottom right here and then we're just gonna hit open home right there let's go add the camera right there and hit continue now this is how you would set it up if it's an ios device if it's an android device you'll have to download the app there we go and then we're just gonna go with the living room right here and then we can change the name as well, but we're just going to leave it like that. Kyra camera right there. Here you can choose uh, away when home, when away. You can also change it so that when at home, 
um, you can just turn it off uh, you can also change the stream or allow recording you can change the names as well right there you can hit continue you can put in automations as well like when first person arrives home turn off security system uh, when the last person leaves around set the security system to away and then when motion is detected turn on the lights in the living room and then you're done that one's from the uh, home app on the apple side of things but if you want to use the akara home app instead you can also uh, use that by signing up right here once you've registered what you could do is add accessory right here we're gonna go with the camera hub g3 agree and continue and then we're just gonna go like this ready to connect we're gonna type in the passcode password for our wi-fi and then we're gonna scan the barcode like so and then we're gonna hit next right here the app will link the hub to your wi-fi so here's the camera right here and basically you can uh, control the camera up down la, left right and um, also rotate so pretty much it'll be able to control this to wherever you want uh, to add more accessories all you need to do is look at the bridge accessories right here and we're just gonna add the rest of these right here we're gonna go with the motion sensor first right there normal link confirmed cool please Accessory. Now we're gonna pull this tab out. There you go. We're gonna hit the reset button for five seconds once it blinks three times. Accessory added successfully. Then it's all good to go. There you go. You can add these now into the living room right there. Hit done. It has a light sensor as well. Maybe how bright the room is and how dim the room is, which is really cool. The motion sensor, of course, is the typical if it, uh, if it detects motion in a certain area of your house, then it'll detect it and it'll give you a notification. Now let's add another accessory right here. Let's add the door sensors, door and window sensor. And then we're going to then we're going to click the reset button again. Take this tab off first. The reset button, five seconds, sorry. Till the blue light blinks three times. And that's it. Right there is the contact sensor. We're gonna hit done. Lastly, we're gonna do the little button right there. We're gonna take that plastic off. Again, we're gonna go to the accessories right here. There it is. Wireless mini control. Please add accessories. We're gonna hit the reset button again. Hit it for five seconds right there. Once it blinks. Accessory added successfully should be good now i've installed these now on our designated areas the really cool one right here is the mini button because i was able to add a doorbell on the back door because we don't have one now there's a lot of features but one of the features that i like about this is the human tracking and the face detection there's someone like me right here the camera pretty much tracks me as i walk around and run around the room I like how it has a wide view angle as well and a 2K quality video resolution, which is really good. This is also great during the night if you want to track your pets, if you want to track your baby as well, use it as a baby monitor, you can use this with that as well. One of the cool things I mentioned earlier is also the infrared night vision style of the footage here. It also has a timestamp, as you can see up there. Um, it'll detect humans and you'll know, give you a notification if someone was intruding on your home. This is really cool for those of you who wants to sleep at night peacefully, right? So you don't have to worry about any of that. Of course, this is also a security system. So you can go to the Akara app and then put an alert or put your system into a way home alert or night alert you can even do a 24 7 alerts and you can automate this as well basically if you arm your house on a way or maybe at night you can set it so that when it senses motion it'll alarm the system you can place conditions on what you want on home alert on night alert on away alert and also the 24 7 alert i would recommend that um, it would have a delay though so that you can set the system up maybe 30 seconds and then you can leave the house uh, open the doors and whatnot and then it won't alarm on you and make it easy for everyone right so for example i'm walking towards the motion sensor here 
and then um, we go and see the camera when the camera sees me it'll have a little bit of a delay it won't alarm right away and then it'll set the alarm after 10 seconds Now, one of the best things about these cameras by Akara is that you can automate a lot of things. For example, you can add your face on the app so that it knows who you are when you come home. So when you come home and the camera sees you, it'll automatically turn off the away alert and then you don't have to do anything on your app, which is really good. I like it as well. It's not a traditional security system because this one is all based on the app and it's very simple. It's a camera, is your hub, and there's no extra devices here and there. And there's a lot of accessories that you can put with the Akira hub, which is really cool because you wanna add little uh, trinklets and accessories with your security system, you'll be able to do that as well. Basically with the mini button, I was able to use it as a doorbell on the back door because we don't have a doorbell on the on the back of the house. Basically, I just used it as an automation right here, put conditions and it was good to go. You can also customize the camera hub to use different doorbell sounds, which is really cool as well. Of course, the Akara Camera Hub G3 is also available on Google Home app in Amazon Alexa. All you need to do is add the scale and then log in to your account on your account. and then you'll be able to edit and uh, customize it on Alexa and Google, which is really cool. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice in a brand new security for your home. If I was able to help you, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of next videos to come. Of tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below as well. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good one. Peace.